Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to verify the truth table of IC7476 which is a dual JK flip-flop IC with asynchronous preset and clear inputs. So let's start with the pinout. This is the pinout of IC7476. As you can see there are two JK flip-flops available in this IC and the JK flip-flop contains or is having two inputs J and K there are two outputs Q1 Q bar along with the two asynchronous inputs clear bar and preset bar so if you go with the truth table when both J and K inputs are zero the flip-flop will hold its previous state so the if the input is zero so the if the output is zero it will continue to remain zero if it is one it will continue to remain one when k input is one then this state we call it as reset and this will reset the output of your flip-flop so it will make the output q zero when j input is one and k input is zero this state is called as set state and in this case the output will go to 1 and when both inputs are 1 then the output will toggle so if it is 0 it will go to 1 and if it is 1 it will go to 0 so it will continue to toggle as long as your inputs J and K are connected to 1 so now we will verify this truth table using the simul ID tool so which is a good free electronic circuit simulator available on the internet and which can be downloaded from www.simulid.com okay so once your simul id is open go to the logic and under the ic74 series use the ic7476 which is an dual jk flip flop with asynchronous preset and clear inputs now for giving the inputs instead of using the clock source I will use a fixed voltage so that we can provide the clock manually and also all the signals can be modified from to 0 and 1 okay so once you connect the circuit then we will go with the verification of the truth table now Remember, in case of this simul ID, you can modify the properties of each and every component and that is the beauty of this tool. So it is a very simple and it can be used by beginners to implement their own circuits. And now once the inputs are connected, remember we'll, we need 5 inputs and there is only one output. So connect the LED through a resistor and then we will observe the output with the help of this single LED now after the connections are over we will go one by one now that the connections are over remember S bar and R bar in this case set and reset are the active low inputs the meaning is when they are connected to zero it will be considered so to make your flip-flop work we must connect s bar and r bar to one so both s bar and r bar are now connected to vcc or logic high next j and k are the inputs and this is the signal that we'll be using as a clock now the clock is a falling gauge triggered so this bubble indicates it is a falling gauge triggered flip-flop so the output of your circuit will change on the falling gauge of this input so let's start with the simulation save the circuit and power the circuit now when both J and K are zero then the flip-flop will continue to remain its retain its original state 
so it will continue to produce zero at the output the output will not change at all next when j input is active the output will go to one on the active age of the clock so when the falling age appears at this input you can see the output is active high so it is the led is on next when k input is active then on the falling age of this clock input the led will turn off so this will like clearing the output of your flip flop or resetting the flip flop and when both inputs are one so in this case j is one and k is also one then on every falling age of the clock the flip flop will toggle the output q will toggle so it will go from 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 on every active age of the clock now apart from the inputs j k and clock we have this s bar and r bar which are acting as asynchronous inputs so right now we have output q is equals to 1 the led is on and now if i want to make it 0 then simply by connecting this reset bar or r bar signal to 0 we can force our output to go to 0 okay? so the moment i connect it to 0 the led turns off indicating the r bar forces the output to go to 0 irrespective of these three inputs j k and clock so it will not wait for the clock signal and it will force your output to 0 similarly if you want to set the output then simply connect s bar signal to 0 and this will make your output q to go to 1 okay. so this is how we can verify the truth table of ic7476 which is an dual jk flip flop with asynchronous preset and clear input so thank you for watching the video please subscribe like and feel free to share it with your friends.